Nigel to the front lanes, please. Nigel to the front lanes. End cap looking sharp, Brian. Thanks, boss. Just like you taught me. Wow, you are really learning. You're learning the craft. Mr. Patel, I've got that human you're asking for. Ah, yes, Nigel. Many thank yous. No problem. Good morning, Katie. How may I be of service? Nigel, a guester had a question about some melons. Oh, a beloved topic. Yes, do you know, are these ripe enough? Oh, yes. Perfectly shaped, wonderfully juicy. Ma'am, you have a fantastic pair of melons. Excuse me? Did you just sexually objectify this young woman? Oh. No, no, I, I was simply referring to it the... sounds like you did. I, I think he was just talking about the It's milk. okay, miss. I can handle this. Who, who do you think you are? Speaking to this beautiful creature that way. I, 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 I never... Really, it's fine. I, I don't think... Sweetheart, he... you're angry. Shh. Women deserve to be heard. And I won't stand by and let pigs like this disrespect you. It's offensive. And disgusting. That chauvinistic. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah, come on, come I... on. Uh-huh. No, Go not... ahead. I... Go ahead. I... I... Okay. You OK, boss? You took a pretty nasty fall. No, I'm just beachy, Brian. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I'm seen better days, though. Thank you so much. Just what I needed right now. Oh, no. These taste at least six months old. This is unacceptable. That guy was completely out of line. Why didn't you stick up for yourself? No. If I've learned anything in my 20 years of governing this establishment, it is two rules. One, eggs never on the bottom of the bag, right? And then two, the customer is always right. If I make a bad impression, then you, me, Brian, even Mr. Sunnyside, well, we could all be out of a job. No, the, there's a big difference between a misunderstanding and a misogynistic malice. Uh, I'm sure that level heads will prevail. Yeah. Don't you agree? Katie? Brian? Uh, boss? You need to see this. Honey, don't! Oh! Oh, look who decided to show their face! Excuse me, I... I my apologies. Uh, I, I don't want to interrupt your jamboree. Jamboree? I, 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 I simply wanted to explain what happened. We don't want your mansplaining. Pervert! No, I... Oh! Honey! Oh. 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 Get him! Oh. Take that! No! Please stop! Your How do you like your produce now, huh? Yeah. How does that feel, huh? That's just a little bit of how you make women feel every day. Oh, uh, thank you, Brian. That went well. He's already going viral. Do drugs and play with knives 69 tweeted. What kind of example is this man setting for our children? Hashtag be a role model. At a literal watermelon said, I thoroughly condemn this type of behavior. Oh no. This one says Nigel has low battery and needs to be plugged in. Sunnyside Grocers, we treat our customers with respect. We carry only the freshest products and know the importance of a healthy lifestyle. And if you have a sweet tooth, come sample our fresh baked goods and world famous cookies, now available for only $4.99 a dozen. I just felt anger. No person should have to witness what I did. No woman should ever be treated that way. William says the incident changed him forever, and he'll do everything he can to make sure it never happens again. What do you want to say 
to the despicable man who harassed you. Actually, I don't think he did anything wrong. He was just- I, actually... She's obviously still <clears throat> very upset. I, I have something to say. Listen, you filth. If you have any decency, you'll issue a public apology to all women, especially this gorgeous specimen here. Wow. Powerful. Coming up next is the story of a zebra many are arguing has too many stripes. Plus, an investigative look at healthy living and why it might be killing you. All this and more after the break. No. I don't think they liked your tweet, boss. Oh, thank you for that, Brian. Apparently, they're calling for a boycott until you're fired. Fired? No. No, it's only been a few hours. Well, things move fast nowadays. You never know where someone's going to end up next. I, I don't understand. I mean, I have dedicated my life to customer service. I mean, it's the only family I've got. It's my home. It's, it's, it's. An ominous phone call for Nigel on line one. Nigel, line one. Excuse me, I have to take a call. Sunnyside Grocers, go for Nigel. Morning, Nigel. Oh, um, Mr. Sunnyside, good morning. What do I owe the pleasure of your call today? Well, I heard you got yourself in a bit of trouble. No, no, no trouble, no, no, no trouble at all, sir. Uh, just a bit of a misunderstanding, that's all. Oh, geez, I don't care what it is. I don't like the sound of it. Sir, I, I can assure you that I have everything. I never changed my mind, Nigel. And you know better than anyone that we cannot have a negative perception out there. I have to let you go. Mr. Sunnyside, with all due respect, please, I have worked for you nearly 20 years. I, 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 I don't have You're anything. You're a loose cannon. Now clean out your desk, turn in your badge and your gun. Yes, sir. I just picking up a few things before I go. You asked to see me? How you feeling? Not well, Katie. Not well. I know you're about to leave, but would you mind helping a guest over in produce? I, I, I'm a customer now, so Please? I... They had a question about some melons. A beloved topic. Yes, ma'am? I just, I wanted to say I'm sorry about all of this. You didn't do anything wrong. That, that guy doesn't care about feminism. All he cares about is a woman's likes and comments. Sometimes I think people are so busy looking to be offended, they forget what's actually worth being offended about. Thank you, uh, I, I appreciate that. I mean, I once told a guy at a dog park that he had a cute wiener, so, oh. <laughs> you know, just, Go out there and say you're sorry. It's not worth ruining your life over. I, I thought you wanted to, sorry. The customer's always right. But you didn't do anything wrong, boss. Can't I go? Oh, 
Over the last several hours, after much consideration and regulated blood sugar levels, I have come to admire your passion and dedication to a noble cause. I marvel at your ability to create a community for justice and equality. Too often, we turn a blind eye to the inequities of society, and I wholly support any effort to right a wrong. But the truth is, for most of my life, I've lived under the tyranny of insecurity. I have strayed from the path of true courage, seeking refuge in a cocoon of passivity and self-loathing. But I want to ask you, when will we stop assuming the worst about ourselves, assuming the worst about others? Our world is imperfect, and as a species, we are fatally flawed. But I still believe that there is good to fight for. So if I may, share one small truth that I've learned on this blessed journey that I call life. It's this. You are all flipping bananas! I would never disrespect a customer! I'm polite, I volunteer, I ace the grocery stewardship award twice! No! Where are you going? <laughs> you need protecting! Oh. <sighs> wow. What a great speech, boss. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Go for Nigel, now. I heard you were chucking produce at the customers. At the customers! I was, sir, and in my own defense, they were a bunch of bad apples, or um, melons, as it were. Huh. Huh. I like it. You know what? I just changed my mind. You're rehired. Thank you very much, sir, but uh, under one condition. From now on, we only sell fresh baked goods. We will never sell anything that's expired to our customers. Oh, and more cereal. Greater variety, please. <laughs> well, you drive a hard bargain, but I respect that. You know, you remind <laughs> <laughs> So, not to be a downer, but what about all this? <sighs> I'll go get the broom. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. <sighs> I think I threw my back out when I was Ooh. hurling the melons. You did great. Oh, good. Nigel to aisle five for a question about some nuts. Nigel, aisle five.
Hello? I hate these things. <laughs>